Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. Uh, on behalf of Migori people, we are also farmers. We grow sugarcane and maize and the rest. But I think uh, as Kenyans, we tend to measure on minors. When the government says that they're giving us cheap fertilizers, we are not even being told where the fertilizer is from, what chemicals are in these fertilizers, and if truly the government want to support the farmers. I believe the best way to do it, which at the end will also create job opportunity for our youths. Our youths are very bright youths. So many of us have gone through universities, and they can do these things at home and make for us the right fertilizers without any chemical, or if any chemical, very minimal. But the government is busy importing and re uh, reducing the price. Why don't we put that money into the hands of our youths through the, the right channel and tell our youths, be creative, create for yourself jobs, and then be able to sustain our economy by giving us good fertilizers so that our crops can grow. Right now, we are facing starvation. We are dying out of hunger. We don't have food. We are importing fertilizers. We don't have rain. What will the fertilizer do to us when we don't have rain? But we have our young people who are very energetic, very innovative, but they're not given opportunity to showcase what they have. So I would urge the government, we stop measuring on minors and do the right thing. When we talk of corruption, when you see um, a product coming in that is harmful to our people, where else do you place it? It is corruption, because how did it get in? The relevant authorities that are supposed to look into the products that come into the country are reluctant, or otherwise they are corrupt, and then these things come in. Fortunately or unfortunately, when these things come, it will not choose who to kill. It will kill my generation, the president's generation, the farmer's generation, the priest's generation, everybody is affected. But we take it very light. As Kenyans, I don't know what hub we are, because we used to be an agricultural hub. We are no longer one. When we are saying our people are dying, it means agriculture is down. Tourism is down. Everything is down. But number one, when you cannot feed your people, then as a government, as a country, as a community, we have failed as leaders. So I request our government and our leaders. We have devolved. We have counties. A county like Migori, we are able, we have sugarcane. The product, waste product that comes from sugarcane can do very good when we, we make it into fertilizer. But it is thrown and it becomes a waste. It becomes hazard instead of being used. So I am requesting this government to take this thing serious. We, you can't turn us into beggars, that we are begging for food. In fact, that is the worst that a country should do, begging for food. While we have hands, we are not in war. Some countries have wars. They cannot go to their farms because of bomb everywhere. But Kenya is a peaceful country. We can do farming right from the right, uh, top to the lowest person. So I urge our leaders, let us concentrate on our youth, create job opportunities by giving them an opportunity to showcase what they can do for us to improve our situation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Member of Parliament for Uiru, the Honorable Simon Kingara. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. On the onset, may I start by congratulating you for having that opportunity to serve us as a speaker's panel team. And also, I uh, want to remember the great people of Loiro who, has, who have given me an opportunity to serve them for the second time. Mr. Speaker, actually, it's very sad um, when um, we know what 